Hey, Simon here from Aquabatics Calgary, and today we're out at the beautiful Kananaskis River, and we're going to be looking at the basic concepts of how to boof using cross-current speed. So we're not going to be looking at running any big waterfalls or anything like that at this stage. This video is about introducing a linear progression for learning how to boof on your local class 2 or 3 run before you take it to more challenging whitewater or for creaking. After watching this video, hopefully you'll take away a bunch of tools that you can use on your local class 2 and 3 run to ensure that you have good muscle memory for when you push into harder whitewater. So we're going to break the booth down into three key components. It's cross current speed, stroke timing, and edge transfer. And to do this, we're just going to use basic eddy lines, and as we progress, we may add a little bit of vertical drop to the move. Cross current speed. Really, the basis of the booth is being able to generate cross current speed. So part one is being able to create cross current speed in our kayaks with control and finesse. If you skip this part, you will always be scrambling and rushed and will likely have limited success with this skill. To start with, for this little drill, we're gonna get eddy A and eddy B. Eddy A is a little higher than B. We are then going to try and paddle in a straight line across current with minimal input from the current on the boat. If you have good cross current speed, you can, though we normally wouldn't, stop paddling and your boat will still track across current without the bow being turned downstream. We want you to practice this a bunch until it's super controlled and you can complete the move by carving into the eddy on the other side, not spinning out on the eddy line. Stroke timing. Now that we've kind of dialed in the cross current speed portion of it, we now want to look at stroke timing. As we move into a cross current booth with some vertical drop, we will typically take the booth stroke on the downstream side. In this example, it is a left hand stroke. You will see here as Tim sets up, he has his boat tracking a cross current, which gives him time to set up and plant his paddle stroke. He doesn't pull on the stroke immediately, but waits until he nears the eddy line. Once the blade approaches the eddy line, he starts to pull on a vertical paddle stroke. This stroke's objective is to pull his hips past the eddy line. You will know if you've succeeded in this with correct angle and timing, if the bow stays dry and the boat continues to track a cross current in the eddy. Basically, it doesn't spin out on the eddy line. Edging. Now we've kind of dialed in cross current speed and stroke timing, we want to add in some edging. This is an often overlooked part of the boof and without correct edging, you will never be able to boof properly. In this example, you will see Tim is gliding into the eddy. As he nears the time to make the move, he reaches forwards with his downstream blade towards the eddy line. At this time, he is also lifting his upstream edge quite aggressively. He now stays on edge until the next part of the move. Using his hips, he flattens his boat out. If this were on a bigger drop, this is where you would start to get airborne. Then, when he lands, he transitions edges and carves out of the turn, which, on a real drop, would have you accelerating away from the feature that you just boofed over. So that's it, the basic booth in three easy steps. Please, take the time to practice each component until you are really comfortable with them. Once you do that, things will really start to come together. It is a skill that takes a bunch of time and practice to dial in. But once it comes, it will allow you to progress your paddling to the next level with control and confidence. Thanks so much for checking out this video, we really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. For more great educational videos, please subscribe to our channel or check out our courses and more info at aquabaticscalgary.com.